Welcome back to our channel. Happy 420. I'm your co-host, Rhiannon. I'm Peyton. And I'm your girl, Kayla. And we are Highly Official Podcast. Bringing you real, raw, and uncut realness. Woo! Because you know what? It's 420 and you know what we finna be? Say it with me now. Faded. Yeah. 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 Oh. Y'all gotta keep going. Oh. How y'all feeling today? Good. Excited. It's 420. It's a national holiday to us. So, it's a national holiday. Shout out to the <laughs> <laughs> National holiday. This is our favorite holiday. This is uh, this is a mother holiday for us. It feel like Christmas. Nah, it feel like Valentine's Day. Definitely Halloween. not. It's giving Halloween vibes. It's like it's one of those one That's of those. Um, I was feeling Christmassy yesterday with the rain and yeah. just the weather. I don't know. In our last episode, we got Christmas presents. That is true. Okay, mm. that is true. I feel great. I'm excited to be here today. Um, as y'all see, our homegirl's not here. Oh yeah, pray for Gunner. He woke up this morning. Paris' dog is sick, and uh, she couldn't make it today. So we didn't want to, you know, not film for you guys. But prayers out to Gunner. Prayers to Gunner. What y'all sipping on today? <laughs> you go first. She got that Snoop Doggy dog. <laughs> Wait, get, I, heard that hey. I, mean, I heard that thing is nasty. No, give me my drink though. Let me show them what I'm sipping on. Yeah, where's her drink? Where's Kayla's drink? Sound effect right now. What is it? It's a. I got me a Modelo. Yeah. I just dropped all my drinks on me. Where? In there. And it's it already dried now, but. That's good. But it's okay. Kayla got a Modelo. Yeah. What'd you call her painting? A T.O.? Yeah, I said, whose T.O. is this? <laughs> Who's unk is this? <laughs> Y'all, Peyton got us some magic mushroom syrup. We got oh. mushroom syrup. I'm gonna mix this with the Modelo. Oh. She wants to mix with the Modelo. We, honestly, maybe I will just put some in my cup. I'm drinking a, a lemon drop cut water. I'm just gonna Where pour some. Where do you find those? Um, Bevmo. Cause mm. they not in the stores. Yeah, Bevmo. There's mm. no Bevmo near me. Yeah. So I'll probably you should we should just do it like fuck it like Kayla's gonna put hers in, mix with her Modelo I'm gonna mix mine with my cup water. Oh, I gonna think this through. You gonna mix it with um that? Why y'all open these? Don't John you should just twist it. I use a lighter. Bro. Come on T I show I you how it's done. Like you hinge it with your like hand and like grab the top of it. Don't pop that in my eye socket. Yeah, and now like leverage your Hell no, for it. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to lose my eye. <gasps> Who lost it? Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, like, bro, I'm scared. Okay, okay. here it is. Comment down below if you guys drink Modelo. Honestly, what does it taste like? I heard it's like taste bitter. It, it tastes like champagne. It it does? It, it, it's a little, it's definitely bitter, but it's like an acquired taste. I'm actually. I drink it when I don't have nothing else to drink. And I remember around. when I was a little girl and my dad left his beer around and I took a little sip of it and I almost died. Because beer is like very <laughs> bitter. I was four. I don't know. But I don't drink that Modelo. I usually drink Modelo Negra, the black one. Oh, is that one for black people? No, it's just got a, it's a better taste. <laughs> no. It's a no? No. Okay. So you could like eyeball I'm it. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Well, actually, I'll put like a decent amount. Of Honestly, it, I, I had a little syrupy. bit last night. I was feeling just put like, I was feeling me. just warm and happy. Okay, that's all. I don't know if that was a teaspoon. Okay, I'll just put like that. Here you go. I don't know how this is gonna taste. Crazy. No, it tastes like a, a lifesaver to me. You think it's gonna sweeten it? Yeah, it will sweeten it. You said how much you put? Yeah, it tastes good. It is sweet though. Like a teaspoon. Ooh, that should look like glue. Okay. What kind of glue? Like the the glue that you put on your nails? Like, no, I was thinking more like Elmer's. No, like you know, like when they do like the um, like have a design and they put the little that little clear glue, that thick gel glue. No. Okay. I was thinking about like acrylic paint, like you know how they put the clear acrylic on top of like a finish. That's what it looked like to me, gloss. Okay. I got this from everything for 420. If you guys are wondering. So we gonna see how this um, 
does our does our body by the time by the by the end of this episode can y'all believe we made it to 420 oh, and this is our 10th episode. episode this is our 10th episode that is so crazy i'm surprised yeah. i haven't made it this far i'm not i believe we could make, i feel like we can make it even further when i was looking at poor minds they like on like episode like 200 or something like I'm like, what the fuck? This is only the beginning. Two hundred something. This is only the beginning. I feel like for us to really be there, I would say like a hundred episodes deep. Yeah. I feel like that's when yeah. you like really locked in. Like. Yeah, I agree. Mm. But I feel like we had a really strong start, so I'm happy with like our progress thus far. Yeah, and then you know, okay, we can Hold talk on, about that after. Mmm. This actually made it better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have finally reached 10k subscribers. This is our 10th episode. Ooh, ooh. So we give you guys a 420 giveaway. So this giveaway is not gonna be on this YouTube video, but it is gonna be on our Instagram page. So make sure you guys follow us at Highly Official Pod on Instagram to see the instructions and how to enter. We're really excited to see who's gonna win. This giveaway is sponsored by Imperial, who will be picking three winners from our Instagram. So make sure you comment down below and they'll be gifting three lucky winners with a diamond glass tip loaded pre-roll. So make sure you tune into our Instagram to get more details on our giveaway. Giveaway and shout out to Imperial. Thank you, Imperial, for the goodies. Y'all, before we hop into our topic for today, we are gonna do a quick recap of some of our episodes. So, how have you guys been feeling? What have you guys been seeing? Now that we've made 10 episodes, how do you guys feel so far? I mean, last episode, I feel like somebody said that we were going downhill. I saw that comment somebody and I thought that we was downhill. interesting. Like how are we going downhill? I peeped too that they were kind of like mad because um, we keep having guy guests. Mm -hmm. Something that I wanted to say is, it's not to say we're only reaching out to guys, but it is to say that the dudes are the ones that's really tapping in with us and being, you know, available. Which is shocking. Which is, sh it really is shocking. Like it's, it's shocking that we're all girls and we have more dudes messing with us heavier than girls. So. Just know it's not because, oh, we only reaching out to dudes or anything like that. It's simply just because, you know, we've reached out to certain people and it hasn't happened yet. Not to say it will never happen, but just be mindful. We're just on the road of like starting our process, you know, so. I also, I comment back to the person too. And I just like, one of the things I feel like when it comes to podcasts, like we, we talk about a plethora of things. It's never just directed towards one group. And I feel like we have so many things that we cover that you may not be interested in everything that we cover, and that's okay. But to say, like, we're going downhill is kind of like either you support us or you don't. So it's just like, you know. Yeah, because then they, they start bringing up the, uh, the episode with Ruchi. I'm like, y'all just don't. I just feel like don't use any little excuse to not to not mess with us like but if the thing is it's what we want to do and the reason why we have people from LA like we're from LA and one of the main things that we talk about so much in LA is how LA don't support LA like a lot of people support music artists but there's so many other people with talents and and that have so many other skills that we want to shine light on and I feel like you may not know them and that's okay it's a lot of people that on the podcast I don't know who the f they be I may not watch that episode, but it's like, I don't mean I'm not going to tune in. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't, we, it's no winning with y'all, for real. Honestly, it's just always something that they want to, like, find the issue no, with. No, they just like drama. I just feel like yeah. that's what they want from us. Toxic. They want toxicity. They want us, like, they want us to have chaos. An issue. Like, yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Like, I feel like the world just kind of vibes off that negative. I don't know why that gets the most attention. Why do every episode have to be us going back and forth about something or talking about sex or dating just dating like damn don't y'all want to know about clothes sometime like what like come on now that's not what the world is just revolved around dating i don't know i just feel like that's not what our podcast is we're not it's not going to be all the time super super juicy we're giving you good content regardless so yeah i don't think every time it needs to be messy yeah and we've only had two guests like we had two guests really? people saying don't do no more guest episodes but also Shut too, up. like our our fan like our support group is mainly girls so i feel like i like that we're bringing in guys because i feel like we're trying to reach another like 
demographic of people. Like, yeah. We uh, most of y'all are females. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I want I want us to have the male support. I want us to be that podcast where people support us off the rip, and it's not just because it's a oh it's a female podcast or no like. Another reason, too, like we have male guests is because we're trying to reach another demographic and a lot of you guys are females. So it's just like it's OK for us to try to like do what we need to do to branch out. And I feel like just rock with us. But I feel like maybe that's probably why they are sick and tired of seeing men because we do mostly attract females. And like the girls that we that follow us, I feel like they kind of look up to us in a different in a way. So they probably will see it as like role models and they'll look at other girls as role models. Like when we said like desk, if we brought desk, I feel like. They can relate more. Yeah. They can't relate to the men. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of get where they're coming from with Definitely. it. Definitely. Like, so I agree. And too, like, when people see... That's why I be trying to tell you guys, like, when we... When you get popular for one thing, it's low-key. Like, you got to stick to that thing. Like, because mm-hmm. then once you built your fan base or you built your community, they don't want to really see nothing else. Because I've struggled with that myself just as, like, doing content creation on my own. Like, trying to venture out and do other stuff. Like, people know what they want to watch and they low-key... I feel like a lot of people want to watch the same thing in variation. Like, um, yeah. that's the simplest way that I can understand it. Because what we may think is boring, they and tired of, they probably like, no, keep doing it. Yeah, like, like they can't get enough. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we curse to, a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to realize. What's that one word that they used to say as a kid? It's something with talky. It was like, <sighs> it's something people used to say, like, and they used to act like you was cursing, but they used to say, it used to be like, <laughs> like, nobody know. No. Oh, okay. Okay. You want, y'all want to start smoking? Yeah. So, y'all, we about to start smoking before we get into these topics. Oh, man. I feel like this is a highly... Y'all have this highly very... requested this yeah. topic. Mm-hmm. So, since y'all said that we're boring, we're <laughs> going to, like, give you guys what you're looking for. So, <laughs> hey, then, yeah, yeah. you're a <laughs> Wait, wait. Let me see my Modelo. I'm about to pour the rest. Okay, girl, you got a lot of requests. Yeah. Because I can't read this so the last one. So you want to pick the furthest one and yeah. all her shit. Well, then. We'll keep it over there. No, I don't want it to spill. Okay, you could take that. Hey, power, up, pull up. Hey. Ooh, that was a Please don't lot. overdose. You think I'm going to overdose? Please don't. Life's been a little rough. Today's topic is going to be about conspiracy theories. You guys have been in the comments. Y'all have sent us a lot of questions, um, a lot of what was those answers? We sent, we put a question story. Y'all sent us a lot of conspiracy theories. So we picked some of y'all's topics and today we're going to talk about it. I was doing a little bit of research. I, I was like on TikTok. That's good. All types of shit. So I was like, let me see which one I'm going to discuss. Mm-hmm. So, so hopping right into it. Do y'all think P Diddy did it or not? What's the like? Can you? What's the background story? Okay, so it? a little bit of background. I actually pulled up his uh, court records, but it all started with Cassie suing him. Yeah, I definitely believe that he did it. Um. So basically, I definitely believe he did it. Let me give y'all some background <laughs> so we can sound like a real a real deal podcast. Hold on. Um. If y'all got on lip gloss, do a little dabby dab. Sean Diddy Combs, a rapper and music mogul credited with helping launch the careers of some of the biggest stars in recent years, is now facing multiple civil lawsuits accusing him of sex trafficking, sexual abuse, and rape. Combs, formerly known as Pub Daddy or P. Diddy and a host of other names, has undergone a... Oh, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, fast forward. Combs, who is 54 years old now, has denied all of the allegations <laughs> against him, but he it all started when basically Cassie sued him. She said he was having freak offs. She made him have sex with men, and he was doing all this other crazy stuff. She made him have sex with men. <laughs> he made her have sex with men for his pleasure. And um, sorry guys, because I'm trying to be like serious, but at the same time, I'm already starting to feel under the influence. So already, yes, it's the wine. Hmm. Okay, after she sued him, they settled the court case, but then all these other cases just start <laughs> dropping out with other people claiming like he was a sexual abuser, he raped them, drugged them, him and his family, just caught up in all these different allegations. So, do y'all think he's really guilty? I or... think that man is guilty simply off the fact that as soon as Cassie came out with all these allegations, uh, saying what he was doing to her, why he cough up that money like literally like in a few hours or like the next day? Right. Like, he paid but is the lawsuit very still fast. going? I don't know if it's still going, but he, Once, he gave I think her the when, money. I think I when mean, you settle a lawsuit, that means it's a wrap. He still has a case against him. He has he? other cases against him. Because they just ransacked his house 
right. in where Miami and LA. Mm-hmm. But what did they ransack it for? I'm sure it was. Did y'all peep that. though? <laughs> did y'all peep though? That his lawyer had made a comment and he was like, "Why didn't I get a heads up?" About what? Uh, maybe that goes into my topic a little bit, but he didn't get a heads up about the raid, like that they were coming to raid his house. Well, that's the part of a raid. That's the point of a raid. No, but you know, Diddy is one of them people from what I've got from the situation. He got some pull, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like his lawyer was saying like, why we didn't get it? Like why, he, like why they didn't get a heads up about it? I mean, they not, they not messing with them no more. You think so? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I feel like he still got a lot of supporters though. I want to hear from young Miami. I want to hear from Carisha. She was posting. Did you guys see that she was posting on Finsta talking about Finsta? mom and dad? They yes. leaked it on your faves before IG. Yeah, y'all should follow your faves before IG because you. That's get a messy all tea page. The tea. Okay, they're gonna you block gonna us. Get all the tea. They're gonna block us. Yeah, for for exposing. Don't them. block me, please, because I faithfully follow them when they when she um gets what's the shadow band or yeah. blocked or whatever. I go find her new page. Yeah, because yep. that's know. a good tea page. That's a good tea. Page. Them and the gossip. The what? The gossip. Ele- something. Cat Williams did say it. Honestly, Cat Williams a Virgo, so he gonna talk. He gonna say the truth. You I believe? Think, I believe everything he said too. Yes. For some reason, I don't believe everything, but I believe <laughs> a, a lot of it. I believe a lot of things that he said, but not. Well, everything. how did you feel about when he said about the men like dressing up in dresses, and then he started listing all of? I the, love white the chicks. That was a movie that I thought about. White chicks was a movie that I really thought about because. That is a movie where they dressed up as women, but it's so freaking funny. Like, that's a golden movie. Some of the other movies be, like, dumb. But that, White Chicks is, like, one of the best movies where they did something like that. And I don't think that makes them a, a sellout <coughs> or selling their... I don't think that makes them a sellout or selling their soul. Um, no. But why is it... Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just thinking about what that person said. Like, uh, did he knew for sure he was uh, about to get raided? I feel like he knew for sure something about time because why he jump on the jet and fly out of, to some... <laughs> Some freaking island and just vanished. Diddy's living his best life. He like, got raided and he didn't get caught. Like, something is like something's going on and somebody needs to talk. And I want somebody to tell all the details. Cassie, she <laughs> didn't tell all the details. Like she, she did. Said, she she, she dropped a lot. I feel like she didn't really like go. Like yeah, they can't talk though. They they like you seen. Like, Y'all have to. You you can literally read the whole lawsuit like on I the seen internet. Somebody posted on Twitter like they. She, it was just like older white lady. She's like a Karen, and she's probably into politics and stuff. And she literally posted a whole like court document or whatever about what was expressed that he was doing to people. He had sex workers. He like I don't know. He was like group trafficking, Greek grooming girls for real. Like having parties just to make girls pull up. <laughs> it's. I have a question because. Now, I'm not like, let me work this card because nobody cancels me. I'm not saying that, I'm not taking away like whatever people went through, but Diddy being Diddy, do you feel like some of these females wanted to see, like, wanted to be about that life with him and just like, definitely, you know, like, now they, I feel like, are some people like going back on it, like, well, he did make me do this and he did, but it's like, do you feel like some, some of these women like kind of had like, in their mindset, like they're doing what they're doing to get where they want to get. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Definitely. Ten dollars. Oh, so you're saying like they just got involved with him to get a put on? Not necessarily a put on, but it's like it's Diddy. Like let's like let's say for example somebody like let's say somebody like Chris Brown. Like you know it's like it's Chris Brown. Like actually let's take this back. Trey Songs. You know they say Trey Songs is they like. They say Trey Songs. What what what? Uh, Key Palmer say that he a s- at it. Like, he is. I've met bro. Like, okay, so now let's say somebody like me, I think Trey Songs is fine, right? So let's say I'm trying to see what it's about. I get into it and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, ooh, this is a little bit more than what I expected, but I still go through with it because it's Trey Songs. You don't think some people have that mindset? Like, I it's like the majority why, of the girls do. Yeah, majority of the girls do, and that's why they get away with it for so long because majority of the girls that go around them and be around them want to be put on so bad or like want yep. to be around them so bad. They just go along with it until yep. something yeah. goes left. Yep. Then they feel uncomfortable. And now everybody is trying so to why, sue. So do you think it's fair though for them to come out now? Like, <laughs> no, I don't think. And it, that's just like Bill, the whole Bill Cosby. Why y'all wait all these years? All these years. All these why, years. Why? Because they like, didn't want to be the one. They didn't want to be the one to get blackballed or like their careers destroyed. Because that's what happens. Like those people have so much power, they can spend a lot of money to get them out of here. Yeah. I think that's that, why a lot of women wait for so long or 
you know, yeah, don't honestly, feel I comfortable. Think I honestly think it's like scary, honestly, to either have being a celebrity and having all your business put out there for the world to see and all these opinions and they just judge you. Like, they probably don't even want to deal with that. Like, I'm just sweep this under the rug. Exactly. But now we live in a society where I feel like exposing is so, I don't know why people like to just expose people. I feel like it's money. It's money. Like, just like this morning, I woke up and I saw, like, the whole Kai Sanat thing. Like, what happened? He paid, I guess, uh, he hooked up with an OnlyFans girl and he was going to pay her $5,000. He never sent it. So she exposed him. And now he wants to see her. And she posted all the receipts, like them in the bed, them texting, everything. He was supposed to pay her $5,000. He didn't pay her. So she went on social media and basically exposed him. And now he want to sue her. Is there like some type of law, though, for that? Like, is it like an NDA? NDA? If you didn't sign no NDA, why? Who cares? But why expose? Like, can coochie? you, can, like, you know, there's a child, is there something for adults? Like, yeah, people like, like revenge. <laughs> so can he sue her for that? He can sue her, but like, she filmed him? She, not happy. Like, they um, was just laying in the couch, like, laying on the couch. Mm-hmm. And because he's trying to say, I never met her. Like, I don't even know who this chick is, but she posted, like, y'all was laying up in the couch. Like, mm. so. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was tripping on him, weird. too, in Jamaica. When, he, I guess, like, they was doing too much. And I'm like, what? They if just you, dancing. If like, you've been to Jamaica, that's really how they all Literally, are. when you go to Carnival, it, that's all you're going to see. Everybody dancing on each other. He sent it. Oh, okay. So I guess he sent it to her. Oh, brilliant gamer. We got twenty dollars so far. We're we're on live right now, so make sure you tune into our membership so you can join our exclusive live while we film. Yeah. And y'all can watch the behind the scenes because these lives will be hidden after. So how do you guys feel about newer artists? I mean, getting hit with rumors of like joining the Illuminati, selling their souls. I've been seeing a lot online about like Sexy Red and Glorilla, like the newer upcoming artists who are just kind of like blowing up. Why does a black person succeeding mean that they sell they, they sold their soul? They not necessarily to black, about black people though either. But that's always when we talk about selling souls, we always use examples of of like black people who are succeeding. Like, like what what gives off the vibe that they sell their souls? Because I feel like if you look at Ice Spice and you look at her track record, she's she been making music like, and it's like sometimes it takes that one song to get you to get you where you need to get. And I feel like for some people that's just happened. Like. Like what? Like what can they do to sell their soul? Like what? What gives? Like what makes people think that they sell their they sell their soul? So I know what I spy specifically. Everybody was talking about it on Twitter when she was at the Super Bowl and she was wearing Balenciaga with like an upside down cross and she like threw up some hand symbols. They were trying to say like that was like a demonic ritual with sexy red. She was at the Balenciaga. She was at some like Balenciaga event. She had on like devil horns and like I think it was all black or all red. She yeah. was kind of doing the same thing. And I mean, but Sexy Red already labels herself as a sexy devil. Like, she literally has a sexy devil. Like, I mean, some people don't even have to hide. They're not even hiding it. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, she, with Ice Spice, I don't know. I think that, um, like, with the cross, like, okay, that's definitely where I probably wouldn't even spend my money on it. But then again, some people, I don't even think they really think like that. I think they just think it's fashion. They think it's fashion. And I don't think people really think, that, think like that. So, like, to put that on them, like, oh, they're worshiping, worshiping <coughs> the devil, I think that's just, like, a little bit too far. But do I believe that there is some celebrities out there that is into, into that type of stuff? Yes, I do. You think I Beyonce and Jay-Z and the Illuminati? I don't know. The people that I probably would consider that will be, that worship the devil, like, uh, little Playboy Uzi, Cardi. Playboy Cardi. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the other one that passed? XXX XXX Tentacion I feel like them they What's his name? XXX Tentacion Like I just say XXX It's Tentacion So There's some people I don't know I just like Yeah They do worship that shit I don't think it's Because they Are famous now But I don't know I think Like that What's that white guy That be throwing all them parties And they All the celebrities Be going there And they're like saying That that was like A Illuminati party Oh where it was like Meek Mill Little Baby Baby. It was like Robin or something Ruben Ruben Ruben. Yeah Ruben I I know I forgot his last name I forgot his last name Yeah Yeah. No say what you gotta say Well his last name Is his last name Michael Michael Ruben. Ruben Yes Michael Rubin. Yeah, I think he. I don't know, cause why? Cause after seeing those pictures, why do everybody look like they're out of the out of the norm? And why was he making Meek Mill do all that stuff on why that did one you video? Have a baby doing that too. What's why going is Meek on? Mill the way he is, period. Because <laughs> with Diddy, with do you everybody, think he's connected. I think Meek Mill, Meek Mill worships the devil. 
Do you think yes. he's involved in like the gay mm -hmm. allegation? Did you guys hear the? Okay, yeah, so Justin Bieber. They alleged, yeah, they alleged that Justin Bieber, Usher, and Meek Mill were like all involved with the, these these things as well. But Probably. they were saying Justin Bieber and Usher were victims. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Meek Mill, I don't know. Like, I just feel like he is just an interesting character. Why are you always involved in, like, shenanigans? Like, the the randomest shenanigans you're a part of. Like, why are you at Diddy? Like, what they said he was at Diddy House. What was he doing or something? I, like, or with the... Where was he at? They was at a pool party or something? When he had the french fries in his lap? No. <laughs> that wasn't that, but he was at a pool party or something. Yeah. And he was saying some crazy things like oh, daddy. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy. It, it was a video of him in the pool. Yeah. And they was trying to say like, oh, they probably just, just had sex after this. <laughs> I mean, before this. Yeah, because why you have... Diddy, why are you telling me to call you daddy? Why do P. Diddy be saying those things like, yes, daddy... They're gay. I don't know. I don't know. It's so like, normal for a man to do that, but it's like, we do that too. I mean, yeah, we do that too. <laughs> what? We do that too. Just the way she said that. Because I'm a little, I feel the shroom a little bit. My, my foot keeps shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't see it, it's just covered. It just makes me feel so happy. Like, I'm just happy to be here. Good. Yeah, I feel good right now. I feel good right now. This uh, Modelo. Glorilla, she has never given me a reason to think that she was worshiping Oh, no, the devil. let me pull it up. Let me pull uh -oh. it up. So, with Glorilla, they were saying that she worships the devil because mm. she got, like, a tattoo of an eye, and she was doing, like, the same little, like, mm. Illuminati symbol. Let me show you guys. I'm going to put it on the screen, too. So, this was the picture that she posted. Okay. Um, it's an eye? Okay. Oh, that is an Illuminati eye. That's literally the symbol. And then she got this tatted on her, the little triangle with the eye. Yeah, that's their symbol. He clicked it. Okay. So that's her connection. So what do y'all think about know. that? I feel like that was like, mm. When I really? saw those pictures, I was like, mm, I don't know. 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 When it comes to like the Illuminati and people like selling their souls, when it comes to celebrities, I feel like there is some out there. There, There is definitely a community out there where they meet up at somebody's house and have these meetings and wear robes and masks and do chants it was and, oh, what movie? and they're very rich i think that those they're people rich as, are very they're rich, rich as they hell. have so much money to invest like i truthfully do believe that people sell their souls and they do anything for like a certain type of money yes. or like a certain community yes. what was that movie or show hey look back there but they cannot interject yes like this one theory about this meeting that was held in the 80s with like these 12 music execs and it was in la and they basically told everybody like look what we gonna do moving forward with hip-hop is incarcerate people and if y'all don't sign people who are trying to like diminish black culture y'all can get the what was that one movie um, with Jamie Foxx? With Jamie Foxx? The one word, oh my gosh, it was like something, who killed or who cloned Tyrone? Uh, who cloned Tyrone? Oh, uh, yeah. Bro, let me finish that. Exactly that. Yes, because I swear, and I just saw this tweet the other day that was like, it was this dude and he had like a full fit on just, and he was in prison and like he had an Instagram and it was this quote and it was like, they trying to glorify prison for a reason. I'm like, bro, wake it up. Mm -hmm. Wake yeah, it up. Yeah, because if you like, get on TikTok, you see, you see people in, in jail on TikTok, on live. And like, it's a whole group of them. Where's the what? You see people on TikTok literally in jail. Like, and it's like, they make it seem like they got phones. It's like, how are you able to do all this? in jail like this is crazy i feel like they let them because they want to make them make it a part of this agenda to get more people to want to go to jail honestly i don't know how true that is because there's this new show on netflix that's called like unlocked unlimited or something like that mm -hmm. it's like a new show and i was watching it while i was getting my nails done they're trying to do this experiment program where they're trying to make the inmates in jail have a sense of like reality so they're like basically unlocking their cells, letting them come in and out of their cells as they please, no deputies around, nothing to give them this sense of like, okay, when you get out of jail, this is, you're gonna have responsibility, you're gonna have this freedom or whatever, but you're still in jail. So the, only, the only leverage they get is to be able to come in and out their cell when they feel come like Come out it. and then so far they get like, okay, you're good for two days. Okay, now you guys can get a cell phone. We're gonna give you guys free cell phones. And I'm like, but these are people that are in jail that has people, people, and everything. 
And you're giving, you want to give them this freedom because they think that this is like going to help them because being locked, they, they're locked up 23 hours a day and they're only out for one hour. So now they're cutting all that for them to have like a sense of freedom and this is what we, this is what the real world is like. They don't and need freedom. Why the f why the hell do they need some freedom? It depends on what but you went to jail for. Like. I feel like even even hell no. I'm not making an excuse, but I feel like even if you went to jail for whatever you went for, let's say you're in there for life. That it can at some point take a mental toll, which I mean, you put yourself in this position, but if you're in there for life, can you find some type of like it's like I already agreed I gave up my freedom. Do I get anything for, you know, sometimes people people change. People find like, you know, they, they find God. They they repent. You know what I'm saying? Do they do they deserve to never get any good in life after that because of what they did? I feel like if you're gonna be in jail for life at some point, do I get some type of good for, you know No. No? I don't feel like that. I feel like you did the crime, do the time, that's your punishment. That's what that's what happens when you don't do good. So if you say do the crime, do the time and someone has life, like do y'all feel like they should have... Do people on life have the option of being able to, like, ever get parole? I don't know. I'm, I'm asking. They do life without parole. Life without the, with the possibility of the parole. I don't know. Depends so good behavior can never change that? I know. I know in jail, I think when you depends. got good behavior, they'll let you have, like, a little bit more freedom. Like, there was one in there, he had good behavior, so he can feed the inmates like he could pass out the trays he could do things like that because he has good behavior but you're still an inmate you're still going to get treated as such he mm -hmm. did the crime so i don't know i don't know i feel like uh going to jail is like it's definitely different levels of like power like because some people mm -hmm. be up in jail and they get way more access than others like celebrities yeah mm -hmm. yeah so that kind of like Stairs into our next topic, um, just talking about like selling souls and everything. Did y'all hear about the um, like the astrology influencer um, who killed like her partner and her kid because of like the solar yes, eclipse? That's no, sicko. I yeah. didn't. You didn't so, hear about that girl? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, investigators are searching for an answer in connection with the suspected murder suicide that began with um, that began in Woolen Hills and ended in Redondo Beach. Leaving a couple and a baby and a nine-year-old girl as the family sole survivor. So, the lady died, her partner died, their baby, and the only person that survived was their nine-year-old. She, like, she's the only one that survived. Okay? Oh, I did hear about this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, she, alle she allegedly, allegedly stabbed her partner to death and pushed her kids out of a moving car before crashing her car. They said that she was an, um, known for being an astrology influencer who warned others about the spiritual warfare of the solar eclipse. Um, pretty much, they didn't have, like, any records of, like, domestic violence or anything like that. Um, but then they, um, they said the neighbors heard, like, a loud argument coming from a unit in the building in the middle of the night. Um, before um, she stabbed her partner. Um, they said that, uh, the neighbor said that the door was wide open, there was blood like all over the floor, um, leading into their apartment, there was a trail like in the hallway, there was some in the elevator, I mean, it was just like blood everywhere. So basically, I want to know like, do y'all believe in like, do y'all believe in like astrology myths and like rituals that people do? Because a lot of people were saying like she was practicing like witchcraft. Like, with yeah, I believe in all that. I believe there is evil in this world. Okay. Yeah. I like Kayla. No, I am like a dark person. Yeah. Like, I'm into that stuff. There is a lot of evil in this world. There are some things that we are not that we don't even know mm -hmm. that is happening in this world. The un the unthinkable. Happening has mm -hmm. happened. The unthinkable. I don't know. I just feel like what's the unthinkable? Just things have been happening. Like what? What's the what's the most recent like breaking news? Like that bridge collapsing, bro, with that ship. Like that wait, is, not too much on that because we're gonna talk about that in my next topic. Yeah. Well, that is the. Un I feel like that's the unthinkable. Like I'm driving on my way to work, and the bridge <laughs> just, just collapsed. collapsed. <laughs> and I'm in the river. Like, I, that is so crazy to me. Look, I think people out here are in cults. I think people out here do witchcraft. I think people <coughs> steal your soul and put them into dolls. I believe in all that. I feel like, like voodoo and all voodoo, that. Voodoo, like, I, I really believe that people can take your spirit and, or whatever, suck, suction up your spirit, put it into a little doll, and just do evil in your life. 
I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel differently about that because, like, I, I'm, I'm a very big believer in God and I'm a Christian. And, and I honestly don't believe in, like, certain things. So, like, I don't believe in, like, doing, like, um, like readings or, like, getting, like, you, uh, where you go to people to, like, uh, about your future and stuff like that like i don't believe in stuff like that i don't even watch certain movies like anything that's demonic or like anything like that i don't watch that i feel like once you open your eyes things like that you start allowing certain things in so like even yeah. when you say mm -hmm. you're a dark person like that's something you gotta you gotta i feel like you gotta watch what you say mm -hmm. because if yeah. you say you're a dark person you're gonna start attracting these dark things and yeah. it's like you, you start questioning like why do i attract certain things and that's yeah. really perfectly you into have my to like topics. yes you yeah. gotta be yeah. more positive have more like positive affirmations because literally everything yeah. you say like to yourself yep. about yourself and think about yourself it will start coming true mm -hmm. yeah, i truthfully believe in manifestation astrology yeah i feel like uh, uh, like when your your sign gives you a gist about somebody but i don't believe that's who somebody is like your sign is not who you are and i hate when people use that like oh I'm this. I don't know. I believe in that sign. I feel, I feel like, yeah, signs have, like, a lot of different, I mean, similar, like, mm -hmm. characteristics and, like, personality nice. traits. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I agree in the fact that, like, some people try to, some people take astrology just way too seriously. Yeah. Like, I feel like everybody is different in this world. Even if y'all do, like, share the same, like, characteristic traits and stuff like that, you're not the same exact person. Like, each Gemini mm -hmm. is not the same exact Gemini. Like, yeah. people are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a little personal moment about my life. So, like, you guys know, like, my brother is sick. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, his thoughts. Mm -hmm. And he watches this guy on YouTube called Ralph Smart. I've heard of him. You heard of him? Mm -hmm. And he, I guess he kind of just, like, is an influencer mm -hmm. about life and stuff. Like a motivational type of a speaker. A motivational speaker. But my brother is obsessed with this man. Mm -hmm. And it makes him think very out of the ordinary things and make him react very out of the ordinary too so i don't know i feel like this guy is like i don't know i just feel like he's a worship like a worshiper in a different way i don't know i i don't know i just feel like my brother looks at him as a god and i don't mm. think this god is really this guy is really doing anything to you but making you worse and then when i start tuning into his stuff it's kind of like i don't know he has like a cult like people literally yeah. worship him like and i'm like this is that's so, scary that's scary mm. like when my brother was in the hospital and if my dad came to go see him and my dad said his name, he wouldn't come out. But let us say Ralph. Oh, I'm Ralph. He's coming out to come talk. That's just like interesting. Is this They prey on people like that. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that's so scary. sad. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely deep. I feel like America, the government is a cult. <laughs> like, like Honestly, a lot of like these churches be cults. You okay, think so this one girl I was going to that was doing my lashes, she was saying like, you know, um, cause she's a church goer and she started going to church with one of her friends. And she said she, she went to the church, but like they were just saying like, just out of the ordinary things, like God's gonna punish you if you do this. And it was just like regular shit. And they were just telling you like, believe in them and that the pastor there was the, the pastor that was preaching there was the God. It was like, she was like, that was literally a cult. So I started looking them up on Yelp and people are in the comments like, this place is a cult, don't go here. Um, they're saying that the pastor is the God and it was just like weird. What differs from like religious, like religion, like, you know, like when you go, when you're a Christian or if you're Catholic or Jewish and like people have like, when you go to church, they have these things where you do meet, you know, like, we meet every Sunday, you know, we, we listen to the word of God. It's like, I don't want to question like my religion, but like what differs from people's religion versus cults where it's like, you know, cause we are doing these meetings. We have people in certain positions who do certain things. We do have a pastor, you know, we do like do all these things. Like what, what, what different, what's the difference? I feel like people in cults, they get, it's like, it's specifically, they start thinking that the, the, preacher or the leader is god like mm. that right there is like cult mm. mentality thinking that a hu another human being is a god that for sure is automatically a cult or like they'll they'll try to get you to do things or like use you mm -hmm. but you won't even know that you're being used because you look up to somebody versus religion is like you're studying something and like you choose like you don't have to do certain things to be a christian like yeah. you don't have to sacrifice or do certain things you know like yeah but in a sense you know 
they say pray. You know, you have yep. to pray. You have to give your tithe. You, you know pray what I'm to saying? God, like, though, not them. Okay. Like. So I guess a cult is someone trying to take a place as a god. Yeah. Okay. It's like that's one episode on. Uh, I don't know if y'all be watching like nine one one, where where they were saying like the world was coming to an end. So we had to, in order to save the world, they had to sacrifice themselves. So he made them all wear these white robes and go to the edge of like a building and it was going to make them jump and everything. And like, it was crazy. Like, and it, and it was crazy to see because it's like a lot of people kind of like, and that kind of goes into, honestly, that goes into my next topic, but a lot of these TV directors and movie directors and all these things that they put out, I feel like, it's so much of like it's just a mirror of what we what really goes on in the world like yeah. and i feel like people we be so tuned in and i feel like it's it's a trick like they they tune us in and program us to to believe certain things and see certain things and think that this is our normality and then people that are actually like you know what when they can see like the bigger picture of it they're presumed as crazy or like like orlando bloom i honestly do not feel like i feel like a lot of this that Orlando he say Bloom. Bloom. I mean, <laughs> Orlando Brown. <laughs> no, that n- is sick in the head, bro. No, but I feel like he be talking his shit sometimes, though. Like He be sounding crazy as hell. Sometimes he be sounding crazy, but he, some of that shit be like, mm, He might that? sound crazy, but do y'all ever really sit <coughs> back and kind of like try to put together what he's saying, though? Like No. Because I feel like he don't be making sense 100% of the time. Like, and you can't listen to everybody because some people do just be talking out the side of their ass. But I feel like with him, though, he he is crazy. But I feel like he do. I feel like he's seen some shit that we haven't seen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I do think he has mental health issues. I do. Yeah, both. Well, look what I mean. He's a look what he probably went through. He's an actor. Literally. You know what I'm saying? Like. What happened in Disney? Bro, we sh- I, that's what I for that should have been my second topic. Disney. The motherfucking Dan Schneider. Yeah, the Dan and Schneider. And what Josh is crazy. Peck did to Drake Bell. Yeah. What did Josh do to Drake? No. He, he kind of basically <laughs> like <laughs> Brian Peck, my bad. <laughs> oh God, I thought that was his dad. I was like, his dad worked there? No. That they said the same that. last name? Yeah. It yeah. was it was what well, Brian Peck did to Drake Bell. He tried to make it seem like they weren't really friends like that and that he didn't know what was going on. And then apparently he didn't invite him to his wedding, but invited Dan. Um, and then like made it a whole, a whole thing. Like when it came out, tried to just basically like, like disregard the allegations like, oh, he didn't know. Like, I don't think they was cool. That's what he said. Yeah. I believe it. Dan is a sick and Brian is a sicker one. Why would he do that to Drake? <laughs> He's like, and the fact Why that so many people just let it go on. The mom, he told you. And what did you, like, and the dad kept telling you, don't let, leave Drake around Brian. And you left him. Mm-hmm. Let him get in the mom's and head. And Drake, I want you to tell me in detail what happened. Because you didn't even say it. You just said. It's probably traumatizing for him. like, yeah. Like, and it's the impossible. That? The impossible I'm going to think is very crazy and it probably didn't happen to you. Impossible meaning like what's the furthest it can go? He got, he probably, he got. That's sad. Over and over and over. And Amanda, I need her to speak. She's not going to. I need Amanda Bynes to come out. I don't think she is. (laughs) She has a story to tell. That girl is like basically like, like what's the word? She's different. She had she did rehab. She has but a lot of these people have like a lot of these actors and artists and music artists and actresses. All of them like they've all gone through some that like like that's why one thing that I'm worried about is like us getting to a point where we start seeing shit we don't want to see, and it's like you start when you start when you get to a certain point in life and you have this like this like status behind you. You start like a lot meeting of doors open. A lot of doors open. Lot you start meeting doors open. new people, and then it's just like sometimes people want to know how far are you willing to go for fame. Yeah, yeah, and that's why they call it selling your soul. Yeah. Well, my next topic I was really interested in because I just watched this movie. Did y'all watch the movie Leave the World Behind? I didn't. Okay, no. y'all gotta watch the movie Leave the World. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Leave okay. the World Behind. 
And it's basically, um, my notes are on my phone. When are we gonna end the live? Kayla party pooper. <laughs> I started watching this new movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, um, and it's on Netflix, so if you haven't watched it, watch it. Okay, I, I might get my facts wrong, but I know that Michelle and Barack had a big part in writing the script, and I believe they are like either producers or they're the director, one of those. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure, you can look that up. But basically, I wanted to know if y'all felt like Obama was sending us a warning that something's to come. So basically what happened in this movie is like, it's like a nationwide blackout, right? And it takes away like all access to technology. Like we have no communication, not even the government, the military, like we have, it's a, a nationwide blackout. Um, and it's causing things like boats to like come to the land, like car like big cargo ships to just like crash onto land. You got planes flying out of the sky, like just crazy shit. And then there's also one scene that I thought was really pretty crazy where um, they had like on the road, it was blocked by um, a whole bunch of Teslas, like self-driving Teslas. Because they lost all technology, they just, you know, it they started driving on their own mm -hmm. and was just crashing into each other on the road. Moral of the story is like the three stages, I'm gonna go over them, but the moral of the story is, is that us as the people, like we are gonna be the cause of like the end of the world. It's gonna be because of us. I can see that. And basically they were saying like the first stage of it is like isolation. So like disabling, like disabling all of our communication, all of our transportation. Like we have no way to communicate, no way to do anything, no way to spend money. Like it's only, at this point it's only cash, you know, transactions and shit like that. Then the next stage is, um, they call it like synchronized chaos. We're basically like, they kind of like terrorize us with like COVID attacks, like having like these loud noises, just pitch, pitch screaming noises, just playing in the background. And like, you're just, like, you can't move or anything because it's so loud, it's breaking the glass and everything. And like, um, like spreading like misinformation, right? Basically in a the movie, they had a point where in the plane, like these like red things start falling out the sky and it was written in like, I think like Korean or something like that. And it basically said like death of America. Like it was crazy. After that, like once we do all that, it gets into a point where like we start, it kind of gets like survival of the fittest. Like we don't really know what's going on in the world. We don't really have a, a motive or an enemy. We're just attacking each other. And at this point, we're just all trying to survive. Um, and then of course, at that point, it just hits civil war. And I say all that to say is we are f <laughs> America is f no, for real. Like, I don't think y'all understand, like, how f***ed we are, how f***ed our government is. We're such big bullies. And when these other countries link up and come for us, we are f***ed. Like, and we're not prepared. And one of the things that they were saying in the movie is how only the rich folks were aware of what was going on. And they were able to prepare and have bunkers. And basically, it's called Leave the World Behind because it gets to the point where, like, we get so consumed in technology we get so consumed in what's going on in the world that we don't see what we're doing to to cause harm to our own planet to our own country you know what i mean like when it comes and it happens and technology takes over the world and i feel like the other countries are waiting for us to get to the point where everything is 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 powered by technology for them to just crash all that mm, yeah <clears throat> I think definitely that this, like, I feel like humans, we're going to become extinct. This world is about to be run by technology, period. As you can see, I went at the New Inglewood movie theater. They had the robots bringing you the food. Or <laughs> they were yeah. walking around with the robots. Or the self-driving cars now. That's the somebody's Ubers. job. Okay? And yeah. the robot is taking over now. This, we, no. I, I believe all that. I know America's in debt. Um... Yeah, I, I definitely and it's crazy too because they dropped this movie. Obama had just um, like ended his um, his presidency um, like two years prior to to them um, to them dropping the movie. Ooh, to them dropping the movie, and I just feel like. I just feel like they're trying to give us a sign. And I was watching this one interview too with Michelle Obama where she said like the things that keep her up at night is like like you know what's 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 to come like. And like that terrifies her, and she says it. Keep, she can't even sleep because she's just like there's so much. I know the shrooms is cooking it, kicking in because I'm starting to stutter. But <laughs> just knowing that Barack and uh, Obama and um, Michelle went through the went through that, like they know what the what the law is like. They've been through the politics. They know what really is to come. Like mm -hmm. I don't know, I'll believe it more because they've been in that position. They know a lot of shit that we don't know. 
Yeah, so, there's a lot of like hidden messages. There's a in the lot, movie too. like there's a lot of secrets that's out there, and I feel like there's like I have seen something on TikTok like these rich folk, like they're they're going to different planets. I don't know. I feel like there. I really believe there's life on different planets. They have different access to things that we can never even imagine. There's life on planets. They have a whole world. I feel there. like that's probably why they was trying to see if people can live underwater, and have to go under that submarine. Definitely, like like all those people that have access to money like that, those they die because they have money. To yeah. spend, and they just wanted to take advantage of it, and yeah. they took it too far. Like, why would I go in the submarine? Submarine. <laughs> why would I want to go in there? If something was, if a catastrophe was to happen right now, so many people would be so unprepared. Like, yeah, like, I would. like I would you don't have. My mom is one of the. <laughs> my mom is I one would. of the people. She, my mom is so prepared. Like, if something was to happen, like. My mom thinks so far ahead of things. Like, and I, I feel like if, in my house, if something was to happen, I'm fucked. I, I don't even have water right now. I've got to go buy some water. If the faucets don't work, I'm fucked. Stop cursing. The F words. I'm freaked out. Like, I'm SOL. You're screwed. <laughs> yeah. You're screwed. I'm screwed. All I got is mustard in the fridge right now. I ain't even went grocery shopping. Would you be prepared right now, Peyton, at your house? I do have water. <laughs> Have you ever seen as long as I can get to yeah. my mama's house, I'm okay. If I gotta walk there, I will. Why would you go to your mom's house in the middle of an earthquake? I'm saying if it was like a, a catastrophe. Oh. Like that would be the place we need to meet. Like if we just blow up? Yeah, like that would be the place you would well, want. Why would you want to go to your mom's house and we just blow up? Did y'all see? Because the my end? mom is prepared. But we just in a blow up. Right Did y'all see the yeah. end? Yeah. Of... You can't drive nowhere. I'm gonna walk. It's survival of the fittest. Girl. If we blowing up somewhere, you ain't going nowhere. You yeah, I am. I'm gonna. You I know in my head. At any point when the fires go out, I know where already. I need to end up at. You blew up already. I'm not blewed up yet. <laughs> I think she's saying like boom. Like yeah, the like world you is can't over. do nothing if it's a boom. Okay, but if I survive, I know where I need to get. Okay. Have y'all seen the end of that one Black Mirror episode? I don't watch that. Ooh, oh, which one? Which God. one? Which one? Which one? It was like the end of the world episode, like where the dude had the girl kill all those people. But I know it was like basically the devil. Black Mirror is kind of creepy too. It was basically the devil telling this girl she had to kill all these people or else it was going to be the end of the world. And she almost did it and somebody stopped her and then it was the end of the world. And it was just like the whole world like exploded and it, it took like 15 seconds basically. Cause nobody believed her. But if it's the devil, why would you want to believe her? The message I got from leave the, like leave the world behind though, basically <laughs> leave the world behind. The girl she ends up finding a secret bun bunker, but like TV because she it, it, you gotta watch it. It's all about her trying to watch the last episode of Friends and just being able to find happiness in watching that last episode. She found a bunker with all this food, water, like supplies, like all type of. And basically, it just gave the idea of like, if you focus on, if you focus on certain things, like you're gonna, you're not gonna lose out on life. And at that point, the like, I just feel like America's already. F so just do what you can to make America better. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, like. Man, freak America, man. <laughs> I want to move to Canada. Like, I'm tired of this thing. Where would you live? Where else would you live? I don't know. I heard Tokyo's no no crime. They don't like black people. I never heard that. Everybody that I know that was I hear that. I never heard that. I seen on TikTok that these girls, this girl and her family went to Tokyo. Well, I think I seen a couple. And when you go to Tokyo, they they be so amazed with you. They be like, "Can I take a picture?" Amazed. You're a celebrity. How was it where you went, John? Where'd you go? Japan. Yeah, I went to Tokyo. It was cool. Yeah, they what? I'm the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I don't die. I'm the, uh, and there's no crime. Like they said, they walk. They they walk at like 4 a.m. around the neighborhood and don't be nothing. That's how I want to live. Basically, America is screwed. We're, we're screwed. We're doomed. Like our generation, the kids after, like they are just spazzing out of control. Like, it is just so much chaos Bro, in the world. I went to the mall, the llama, right? You know that whole, like, 300 kids that pulled up or whatever and did that whole riot or whatever there? Not a riot. What they do? I don't know. They just all came to fight. 300, about 300 kids. What the f***? And so I went up to the, me and Harry went to the mall, and I'm, like, talking to the guard, because they have guards <laughs> everywhere. So I'm like, what's going on now? I was like, what's the curfew for the kids? They said 3 p.m. 
They have three p.m. Out the mall at three p.m. And the Torrance do not play. So she's like, you see over there? We got Torrance PD. They got Torrance PD walking around the whole mall with canines and the allied security. And you got to check in. They have check in points at every entrance. <laughs> if you're a young though, you got to have your mama with you. They give you a wristband. <laughs> you gotta have a wristband and it's different colors you get orange or green or blue they oh, straight they was they're on it <coughs> so I'm like, you know what that's good because these kids are out of control and we were once that but we never did that do you the think riot? we ever did that when we were in the, the bridge yeah. okay they you know, i was at a shootout in the bridge when i was in like high school i ran inside nordstrom's and i was behind the clothes and shit the i was yo the bridge was a time the bridge got crazy I had fun at the bridge. So this leads into my next topic. So do you guys believe in ghosts and spirits and demons and people becoming possessed? Absolutely. No. You don't believe in that? How do you not believe in it? Jesus. <laughs> How do you not believe in it? Jesus, Jesus loves y'all. <laughs> Jesus loves y'all. Jesus loves y'all. Find Jesus and get saved and repent for your sins. Like... Hell no. I don't know, y'all. I believe in ghosts. I believe in it. I believe in ghosts. How like, can when you, you not ghosts, believe in it? What do you mean real. believe in ghosts? Okay, like. so I have a story time. Ooh. Okay. So, one time, one day, this is like when I was a kid. Not even a kid. I would say like middle school. Y'all heard of the Queen Mary? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Y'all heard of the Queen Mary? And y'all, they say that it's haunted. Right. So, you know. I believe it. I believe it. Cause what happened? Then they get in like an accident or something. Like it like split, basically. Like the ship split and they built it. Basically, the Queen Mary is a ship that's located in Long Beach. Y'all should go. They have attractions and the ship basically shipped apart, like split apart. It hit like an iceberg or something, and it's it's broke apart and the people died. Okay. So I went there one time because my godmom like she used we just used to go there and we did the tour or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going around the tour so. I had to use the bathroom eventually. And you could- it's You went by yourself? Listen, so they have a hotel there as well. So you could also sleep there because it's also a hotel. Oh, hell no. I'm not doing that. So I had to pee so bad. So I go ask the receptionist at the hotel. I'm like, um, I, I don't know. I was just random. I was a kid and I was like, is there any ghosts on this side of the ship? And she was like, well, they don't, there's not really much like attention down here. She's like, go on the second floor and up. It's like, they say that's where the most activity is coming from. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. So and she, I was like, well, where's your restroom? And she's like, it's down the hall into your room. It was on my left. So I'm like, okay. Now you're walking down the hall and it's like just hotel rooms, you know, just door, door, door. And it's a long hallway. So I'm walking or whatever, I go in the bathroom. The bathroom is like the light. It was like a scary movie, y'all, I swear to God. The bathroom light was like dim. It was dim in here, and I was the You feel like they did that purposely? I don't know. Like, the boat, the boat I wouldn't say it's fancy. It's, it's kind of rink deep you know? Like... I wish this blunt was real. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just want to be like... Big B. Big B. <sighs> yeah. Big B. Girl, you could put that out. That shit like, done. <laughs> so, I go in the bathroom or whatever. Use my use the restroom. Blah blah. Restroom. Yeah, I use the restroom. <laughs> and this is high. I use the I use the restroom, but yeah, the it was dim in there, Kayla. Like it only had one light. It was only one light, and it was only two stalls. It looked like a scary movie. Like I was scared. I was low key a little terrified. But I was like, I gotta be. Mind you, when you get out the bathroom, the stairs, the staircase is right there. It's right there to go up to the second floor. Mm -hmm. I hear I hear like giggling. <laughs> Bitch, who laughing? So I look around the staircase. <laughs> There's nobody up there, y'all. So, but I'm hearing laugh. I'm hearing laughing. So I start walking down the hall aisle because my godmom didn't come with me. She stayed in the lobby. She was scared? No, like, she just thought, I'm gonna just wait for you here. And I was like, okay, whatever. Walking down the hall, I start hearing footsteps. Who's behind coming? me, y'all? Nobody is behind me. I start running. I start running down this long ass hallway. You're just running. It's, no, cause I'm scared now. I'm hearing things. I start running down the hallway. It's like laughing and footsteps like running behind me as I'm running. Then I finally met my godmom and I was just like, this is what happened. I'm like, what? The? And the lady did say it was activity coming from the second floor. And that's where I heard it from right there. 
I believe in ghosts. I don't want to believe in ghosts because I don't even want to welcome them spirits in my life. But they're out there. Literally. It's literally. Let's let's put reality. Let's let's talk reality. They're out there. And if one come towards me, I'm gonna call on Jehovah. So when my dad passed away, it was like the night before his funeral. I got a call from the funeral home, and um, it was late at night. Yeah, it like was after really, hours. Yeah, yeah, it was like probably like 11, yeah. 12 at night, and I answered. But then it it was nothing. And then I hung Shut up. the front door. Yeah. And then the next day, I called back. And I told them, like, oh, hey, I had a missed call last night. And they were like, oh, no, there was nobody that could have called you because we were closed. Mm. See, that that's scary. Yeah. There is spirits out there. And maybe that's the way that, like, I, I, I wouldn't say that there's e all evil spirits out there. You know, yeah. like. I definitely believe they can communicate. Like yeah. the Lord can communicate with you and and it's have not even a I feel like your loved ones can communicate. With you. Exactly. But like I, I believe I'm saying, like your dad not ever like spoke to you in your dreams or something like like just came to visit you. Yeah, sometimes. my dad came to me in my dreams. Before. I've like my dad has come to me in my dreams. My dad has never spoken to me. Like I can envision his face and like you know I can see him in my dream, but I can't speak to him. Like yeah. I've never. I don't think I've ever told y'all this. I took shrooms one time. I was home alone. I don't know what I was going through, but I took shrooms. I took like, I took a lot. I smoked and I was drinking. Y'all, so I'm laying down in my bed. I can't believe I'm even telling the story, but I lay down in my bed and I'm looking at my ceiling, right? And all of a sudden I'm like in a subway station. No, look, <laughs> listen, y'all. I'm in a subway station, and now that I think about it, like after I thought about it and I processed what went went on, I was in at the time. I must have been a little girl. I kid you not. I must have been a little girl. I was at the train. I was at like a, a a bus stop, train station, whatever. And I'm like, I feel my eyes like going back and forth. Like I feel my eyes going back and forth, and in my head, I'm looking for my dad. Like, and I start seeing all these like. I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I was. I'm not gonna say hallucinated, but I'm pretty sure I was having like a like a vision, like a like an open dream. You ever had an open dream? Like shows you know, makes you hallucinate. You know, like like you know. I was so in, in this. I'm, I promise you, I'm just sitting there in my bed. I'm home alone, just sitting there, and like my eyes is going back and forth, and I'm just like I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like, Dad, like where are you? Where are you? I'm calling out for him. Like where are you at? Like, and I just see all these faces of people like walking you ever seen a movie and somebody just standing there and it's just all these people walking like in a, in a train stop like mm -hmm. so i'm just seeing i don't know who these people are or where these faces are even coming from but like i see them and i just i feel myself to start to cry because i cannot find him y'all mm -hmm. it was the most trippiest mm -hmm. experience i've ever went through and that's honestly what made me stop doing shrooms for a minute because it was so scary that i went through that and the fact that like i really like sat there and was looking for him it just kind of let me know i don't really speak on my dad a lot and like i don't even go to like the cemetery my mom just asked me yesterday like are you ever gonna go and i just started like you know i'm gonna go when i'm ready because i don't think like i fully have comprehended that like he's gone sometimes it feels like he's just on a long trip like That's and i haven't heard somebody say before like, and i just haven't seen him yet yeah. and i'm gonna see him soon like you know, like, even when my dad died, I had to see him in it. Like, I had to see his body. I had to see it. Like, in, in my head, I know he's gone. But for some reason in my mind, I still haven't accepted it. That's why, like, when I start to think about him and think about things, it, it, it hits so hard because it's like all these emotions start to come back. And I feel like I haven't got to the point in grief where it's like, oh, you know what? It was hard, but I got through it because when I still think about my dad, I still think about the day I found him. You know, like, and that plays in my head, like, every single time, which is why I can't think about him. I can't go to the cemetery because I feel like if I put myself in a position where I'm just so deep in grief, where, like, I get in this dark hole, I don't know how I would come out of that. But that's, like, you probably just need some closure, though, too. But how do you get closure from that? I mean, that's your dad. I mean, I don't know, but yeah. I can't really talk about because I don't know the position or the situation. I don't know how that's, what that's like, but I feel like if you miss him, then just you have to see what see what you can of him. I just feel like, you know, everything, like everyone goes to heaven, you know, yeah. and I feel like, 
you know, I definitely understand like the way I believe it is like, you know, when I when I die and I go to heaven and I transition, like we're gonna be meet with our with our sisters and brothers, you know, I'm gonna see my dad again, you know. So it's just like I believe in reincarnation. I feel like yeah. my soul is gonna go to another person probably. I'm gonna yeah. be reborn to I another, another be an animal. Like I don't I don't wanna be an animal because they get like I don't know, they get attacked. Like you be getting eaten alive. <laughs> what do you think There's dreams dream, expose? Dreams are messages from probably your ancestor from mm -hmm. god dreams to be i feel like mm -hmm. dreams are from there is the devil disguised as your people to get to you okay i believe in all that mm -hmm. hey facts the devil comes in in many shapes sizes you've seen forms. insidious i have not I, I don't watch movies like that yeah, i haven't seen it oh i do i watch all them uh, that's why i'm i do not believe in watching the movies I feel like you really welcome the the like that spirit into your life. To say yeah. like you don't believe it is crazy because it's like it's there. What do you mean you don't believe it? I'm not it? saying it's that true. I don't. I'm not saying that I don't believe it. I don't. You just believe don't like in, to watch. It. I don't believe in partaking into things that can welcome that type of energy into my life. Okay. When I watch scary movies, I watch movies like Scream. Like oh, she like that. Comedy horror. No, not it's not comedy horror. Just I know that it's a person. Like it's not an actual spirit oh, or a devil. Like okay. I don't watch pos like demonic. possessed movies, demonic, demonic movies, things. or like paranormal. Paranormal. Like yeah. Like I don't. I never watch. I I have watched Paranormal Activity not because I wanted to, but because they played it at school. It was like a movie night, and that's what they played. Um, this was back in middle school. They played that in middle school. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Do y'all believe in exorcisms? Yeah. Yep. I sure do. I definitely you know, believe in like people do rituals. Yes. And sacrifices. You are possessed by the demon and you start talking Latin and all. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in all that. And they believe like, like, do you feel like that is like them worshiping the devil though? I feel like the de the devil prey on the innocent. Okay. Devil prey on the innocent. They go to the most innocent person and they weak corrupt minded. them. The mm -hmm. weak minded. The weak minded. That's why they, they, they say like, the like you going to hell if you commit suicide because that's the devil got to you. You know, like, no. Bro, Spirit I'm getting you. scared. I live alone. Like, this That's is, why I wouldn't live alone. This is scary to talk about. They like yeah. this type of shit. Mystery. <laughs> Mystery. Mystery. So, yeah, I, I, I believe in the spirits. I believe in the ghosts. I, I rebuke it all, but it's out there, and that's just reality. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so my next question to you guys is, do you guys believe in people that look like us but they're not humans you talking about like how they started to make like these ais and these aliens and like these i wouldn't these... even say that but let's talk about i was I, I thought it was ai generated people but when i started doing my research that's not what i was talking about so it's more so like the lady that was on the plane that saw something mm -hmm. and but it was like manifest so, no, like you saw that lady that was on the plane. And she, he was like the meme. That motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not real. Is not real. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. I believe that she saw something. Yeah. She saw something, and it was not. It looks like a human, but it was not a human, and it spoke to her. Her in particular. But where did it go? He looks like he probably was like one of the one of the uh, passengers on the plane. But she saw, cause that le cause I saw a TikTok of this lady. She said she was at the grocery store, and there was this, just this man, and he was following her in every aisle she was going to. And she's like, "What the?" F so finally, she just like he's just staring at her though. But he's like down the aisle, and she's like up the aisle. And so, oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> yeah, like she's like I'm in the grocery store. I wouldn't want to go get somebody for help. <laughs> So she, it's an older black lady too. She, so she finally like, you know, she finally had like, give him the stare. Like, and she said, when I saw this man, cause he had a hood on, he had like a third eye. And she said, I grabbed my stuff and went home and I made this video. She's like, there is people out there that look like us, but they are not humans. And we need to be aware of our surroundings and blah, blah. And I'm like, I believe Whoa. that though. Like, I feel like the government is trying to put out things like, <laughs> I'm getting scared. <laughs> I believe it though. Like, yeah. like I even seen it at a football game where they had like the the little like like you know they built like a person or whatever, and they had like the flesh on them and everything. I feel like they are putting yep. things out to to test things and to see see like you know how far they can go. How far it can go. I saw a, another TikTok video. This girl, this lady, got into a car accident. 
So she go, she get out the car and trying to talk to him, get his information. Regular, look like a regular guy. He start glitching. <laughs> what the? Nigga started just stuttering no. like. Uh, 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 uh. No. <laughs> she's just, like. They didn't program it for that accident. <laughs> yeah, she's like, this person is not even real, you guys. Like this person just hit my car and he's glitching. I need to see this video. Yeah, I wish I saved it, but I was just scrolling on my for you. <laughs> Isn't that creepy? Still, you don't believe trying, that shit? He was trying to get out of it. He was playing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked so like, it looked so real. I'm gonna look and say, I'm gonna fake it till I make it. I don't, <laughs> I don't, 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 I don't. <laughs> Bro, he was. He's smart, actually. <laughs> Bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm crying real that tears is, right now. But he was like smiling super hard. He looked like a robot. Nah. No, I'm gonna try that. No, 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 no. Yeah, you gotta just try it then. That was too funny but, because yeah. I'm gonna but do there's that. people out here that's not us, y'all. <laughs> and you gotta be aware. If I ever get pulled over, yeah, you gotta, I'm gonna just be like, Nah, it gotta be the shrooms because I'm crying right now. Yeah, Take the blood. No. Nah. They're testing it in so many ways. Not even just with people with the food delivery, with the self Uber drivers and all that. Shit. Like, like we think we be woke, but it's so much stuff that we not even really we woke to. No. Like, yeah. we don't even know. And this like makes me think about okay, so this was Harris's topic. So we had kind of discussed this one, like medicine. Like, I feel like medications, they suppress just the moment. You yeah. know, like, I don't think it fully cures you. It's suppressing the moment. I don't feel like they ever they want to cure They do it to us. make money. money. Yeah. yeah. There's a cure out there for cancer, y'all. That's but why would they cure it? Exactly. America so is money. doomed. I'm yeah. trying to tell y'all, we're doomed. They're making so much money <clears throat> off these cancer patients. Why would we, why would we're, we bring we're a cure? We're freaking guinea pigs to the government. Exactly. They want to just keep taking our money so they can invest into shit from these research topics. And that's why they killed they Dr. They just wasting Sebi. people's time. Because Sebi had the answer. They killed him? I thought he died from like... Oh, I thought they killed him. <clears throat> he died from natural causes, but yeah. like they say that he they killed him. Oh. You know, people. Oh, well, who they killed? Gandhi? <laughs> he died from regular causes, too. It was like cancer No, they killed one of them. <laughs> they killed one of them. She didn't name it anybody. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even know for real. <laughs> <laughs> they made, they killed him. Oh, it was Nelson Mandela. No. <laughs> no. This is <laughs> stupid. No. They no. did kill Nelson Mandela. No. But I'm talking yeah. about them people, like them, like the, like the, um, the government, like the Indian people. Huh? You lost me, my girl. They killed Nelson Mandela. They did. Anyways. So medication. I hey, Siri. <laughs> How did Nelson Mandela die? Uh-huh. <laughs> His death was a respiratory disease. You think they infected him with the medicine? I feel like yes. they did. Yeah. They, yes, they killed him. He got killed. They're now, killing us with their with the food. They're, you see Chick-fil-A. You see Chick-fil-A put an antibiotic We back need to label shit. this episode America is doomed. Because when you look at the other countries, they God talk about the way America. We, they talk about the way we eat and the stuff that's in our food. I'm telling you, bro, America is killing us. They want to wipe us out and put robots to replace us and take our jobs. They don't Get want us. they want to take us. They want to put me, Peyton, and Kayla into a robot. Look at Kanye West. They saying he a clone. He and not Tupac. A clone. And Tupac. Do y'all believe Tupac on an island somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. I just feel like Tupac is too big. How can he be unseen? He's somewhere where people don't know him. I think Tupac is dead. Where he at? In the ground. Where? At this point, his bones didn't like. They not even near Where's anymore. Where's Biggie? In He's the ground. dead. I think Biggie is dead. So they, they picked Tupac, but not Biggie? What's the tuh? And did y'all see Kevin Hart? He is cloned. <laughs> you think Kevin Hart is cloned? Because look, I saw a TikTok. So that car accident, that big TikTok car accident. TikTok got a screw too. Yeah, okay. TikTok needs to be banned. <laughs> no, don't America. say that. 
Because Don't it's say corrupting that. our mind. It's the new Google. It's the new YouTube. I go to TikTok to like anything. Literally. How to make this. Because you know why? TikTok is for short tension span people like myself. What was that? Kevin Hart. Yes. He had gotten into a big, I guess, a big car accident where the front of his car was like basically like crushed. Mm -hmm. And they were basically saying like, he could not possibly survive this. Boop -de blah, blah. Then he went on an interview. He probably was just joking because he's a comedian, but he was like, I'm cloned. There's three Kevins out there. Um, so, and this was after his accident. And he was like, I'm cloned. There's three Kevins out there. He said, so, there's two others like me. I'm not, 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 I'm not. <laughs> oh, you thought she was sounding like a robot? Like, I'm not Kevin. Oh, he said that? No, that's what I said. Oh. <laughs> um, I believe that there's people out there that is not real. <laughs> <laughs> there's yeah. people out there that is not, not real. real. You are not real. You gotta say it like that. Real. Real. That mother trucker is not real. No, you gotta say it with this with the voice. That mother over there is not real. Not real. <laughs> okay, go Kayla. <clears throat> <laughs> what just happened? You don't, have a, you don't have a girly voice. I don't. No pay didn't do. Y'all don't come back now. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you have like the the quirky humor. Who's funnier out of all four of us? Dang, that's like hard because they make me laugh in different ways. Like, <gasps> that's red wine. Did they get bro. on the couch? No. It's what all on you? Yeah. It's always you. That's a rare wine. I don't know if that's gonna come out. I'm sorry. Caleb, do you have like a towel? <laughs> What's the like, towel gonna do? Like a wet towel? Absorb this color up? Bro, that's not gonna do nothing. Like, literally I just this, got this. this. I'm so sad. This bitch looked it up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> Dang, can I hit the blunt? What happened to it? I'm hitting it, duh. That's, that's right here. I feel like it hasn't been passed. It's not even you next, so I don't know why you tripping. Okay. I haven't, it has it can't be, because I haven't hit it. I passed it to one of y'all, unless you've had it this whole time. It's literally big. No, I passed it, no, I passed it to Payton, so she passed it to no, you. Thank you. Didn't. You're not about to fuck up the rotation, you're the one that's Payton, high. how's the rotation going? I'ma come a homegirl Payton, look. She gonna ride through. No, she ain't. <laughs> <laughs> we about to, we about to, this is what me and Kayla do when we hey, like. cause we faded. When we faded, we be fucked up. Fuck, fuck, faded. Say it, wake up, say it, faded. Hey, faded. But let me get it. When me and Kayla faded, when me and my boyfriend faded, we, we just start freestyling. We just put on a real bar. I mean, a, a real instrumental and we just rap. Y'all are funny. All right, y'all. So we're going to do something that is a long overdue that a lot of y'all have been requesting. We're going to do some call-ins for today's video. Um, so who do we have that okay. we would like to call? Maybe she'll answer block numbers. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Highly official. Hey girl! Y'all tuned in. Oh, so, snap! Hey. Yeah! <laughs> hey girl! Hey girl, what you doing? I'm actually working on chemistry work. Chemistry? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna call it. We got a black grad on the we line. The I love to house. hear it. I love to see it. What you. school do you go to? I go to the illustrious North Carolina Agriculture and Techno State University. Period. Yeah. yeah. We got a real P on the line. For real. Educated baddie. What's she trying to do with that? So I'm actually going here for um, agriculture. I'm a freshman um, here. So this is my first year. And so with that, I have a background in culinary. So I love to cook. And what I realized while doing that and trying to figure out what I was going to, you know, pursue in college is that us as black people, we don't really control what touches our food and who touches and grows mm -hmm. our food. And that's something that I realized that was super important. And so I decided to take that route. And so I'm going to be able to open up restaurants and do farm to table with fresh produce and open up um, grocery stores to solve our issues with 
um, food insecurity in black communities. I love it. That literally goes into what we talked about today, too. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah. With that That's food. so crazy with the food. That well, we're put. so happy to hear from you. And thank you for answering. We love you. Mwah. Mwah. Shout out to you. Shout out to Real P. Do you want to say anything before we go? Um, yes, I would love to say thank you to yourself, and I'm glad that you all are creating this um, podcast because I feel like as a growing young lady, there's a lot that I feel like I've had to learn on my own, but also watching you all has given me a lot of um, guidance, I could say. So thank you. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you. I love you all too, and I'm gonna keep watching the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you so much for answering. Shout out to you, girl. Shout out to Bye. you. I love you. Bye. Bye. Oh my god. That was so, so cute how you sweet. answered too. This is highly I'm official. <laughs> we really doing it, y'all. Should we do one more? Kayla, you're gonna do it. Oh my god, no. You know how it's I get. It's not a prank. It's not about pranks. I just hate speaking. There's one more. Okay, let's do one more. These lights is bright. <laughs> What's wrong I'm high. My head is low key kind of hurting. Drink too much syrup? Yeah. Or the syrup drink me. She's ODing. She's going to green out. Never. For 420. Donye. <laughs> this Liddy. <lady. laughs> Why y'all ain't pull up? <laughs> Leave a voicemail. <laughs> oh, hello? Hello. Daye. <laughs> Miss Liddy. <laughs> hello? Yo. What you doing? What's this? This is not the official calling on your phone. I freaking love it. <laughs> hey, girl. What you doing, baby K? I'm vibing. Stand down. Where you from? Miami. Okay, Miami. Okay, girl. We just wanted to call you. So thank you for being a supporter. We appreciate you. Shout out to you, sis. <laughs> nah, nah. Really, though? I love y'all. <laughs> Aww. How old are you? 22. Okay, period, 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 period. Love to see you. Okay, girl, well, have a great Sunday. May God continue to bless you. Yeah, too. Bye. Bye. Continue with the outboxes, all that shit, all that. Period. Period. We do it for you, we do it for you. This has been a wonderful episode, like. this episode was good. I think this episode. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Excuse me. You know, the government is putting out diseases in the world that we are, it's unthink that's unthinkable. Holy water. Holy water. That's unthinkable. I don't know. Nah. I haven't been sick in so long. I love that we did the call-ins. Are we, like, going to continuously do the yeah, call-ins now? Yeah, we can now? start doing the call-ins. It's better than reading. For, for you. I like both. We could do both, like, a mix yeah, of both. Yeah, I think we could do both. I think we could do both. So make sure y'all send us y'all numbers. <laughs> Give me my blunt back. We would like to thank you guys for all the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, comment down below. Happy 420 Happy for the 17th time. Yeah. I hope it's, um, we redeemed ourselves. Yeah. How we redeemed ourselves. Because now they're looking at it sideways. It'll never be the same, same motherfucking old days. days. Pretty yeah. in the face, but my attitude stay. Either way it go, this nigga still going to the bank. I'm up now. Give what, what you think? think? The I'm lit, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Who we introducing? Who we introducing? <laughs> this my cousin. This my cousin. She is so funny. She crack a joke, and everybody get laughing to the tummy. Cinco de Mayo. Who we introduce? This baby guy. <laughs> Come on, Penny, you next. Come on, Penny. Who we take the bite. Hey, take the bite. <laughs> the shows is hitting y'all. Huh? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, my cheekbones hurt. Okay. okay, okay, okay. You're tuned in right now, live. You're gonna, you're seeing the behind the scenes. If you want to see more behind the scenes, tune into our membership. You could join it on our page. There's three levels just for you. And if you aren't a member, then you are like literally missing out. And that is just a shame. Get it together. This it's 420. Is this is a real holiday for all the real P bitches. Really I love y'all for real. Like this is for really us. Smoke. This is I'm smoking big, big bees. Big bees. That's big Dominican right there. Big Dominican. That's big Dominican. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fucking boss, bro. So hey. keep sending us more emails, more DMs, more phone calls. <clears throat> so we can read them, listen to them, do all that good stuff for our next and future episodes. Follow us at Highly Official Pod on Instagram and email us at HighlyOfficialPod at gmail.com. If y'all enjoyed our show, please rate and review us on Apple and Spotify podcasts and also send us donations if you love and want to support us in any way. And be sure to come back every two weeks for a new episode. Until then, this is Highly Official and we're out. I want to get high. Yeah. We got I put that real sticky icky icky in the motherfucking head. Put it in the back with it. It is. I want to get high. Yeah. For the comma, oh, to guy, oh, oh, oh.